Hi everyone, Agampla here. Thank you for joining me for another how-to video. And today we're gonna check the Madworks Neron N-011. These are spin blades and etch detail parts. So before we start, I would like to thank Masamune Studio for sponsoring our video today and more about them later. For this video, we're gonna use the Neron N-011. I'm going to show you how to use the spin blades and how to apply the detail up parts. And with that, we're going to use this part from a graves. This is the inner parts. So I'm going to show you two ways how to apply it. So first, using a spin blade out to create a indentation and apply the detail up. And then second is, is how to apply it directly on the parts. And the tools that we're going to use for this how to video is a pin vise with a 0.5 millimeter drill bit and the multi-purpose holder from Madworks. Uh, this is what we're going to use to hold the spin blades. And then you could also use any pin vise that you have to hold the spin blades. I'm also going to use a CA gel. So this is more viscous than the ordinary CA glue. This is to handle the glue a little better because we're, we're using small parts here. And because we're using small parts, I'm going to use an offset tweezer that will help us handle the detail parts more easily. First, we're going to check what's inside the package. So looking at it, we have two parts. So we have the spin blades. And then we have the detail parts or detail up parts. So looking at the detail up parts, you can see it's a uh, metal edge part and you get a detail parts. Uh, these are circular detail parts simulating uh, hatches. So you get five sizes. So you get 3.2 millimeter, 3.4 millimeter, 3.6 millimeter, 3.8 millimeter, and then four millimeter. You get two designs for the detail up parts. So you can see a, I think this is a screw like design and this is a hatch like design. So I'm just going to put it up there. So this is the screw like design and this is the hatch uh, like design. The next one is the spin blades. So these are spin blades in order to create a pivot hole for the detail up parts so you also get five sizes but you get uh, a pair of each sizes we're going to use the 4.0 uh, spin blade for this one because we're going to use the 4.0 uh, edge part there or detailed parts so for me it's easier to remove the edge part uh, using a tweezer so i'm just going to spin it like this then just get it right from the parts and we're going to use the madworks multifunctional tool so just lock it in place as short as you can so in order to keep the integrity of the blades intact because if you put it or if you lock it a little longer uh there's a tendency of bending the the blades so i already marked the center of the location now i'm gonna punch a a uh, pilot hole in order to help the uh, drill bit to be centered as well so it doesn't go all over the place so using a 0.5 millimeter uh, drill and a pin bias I'm just gonna create a pilot hole so you don't need the pilot hole to be that deep probably of a millimeter or half millimeter so there you go so let's try to do the pilot hole. So just spin it um, clockwise. And then initially don't put too much pressure in it. Just spin it along the surface. And then as you can see, this is a sharp uh, blade. And as you go along, you can see those uh, plastic being shredded off. This is actually satisfying as you can see there's 
floret of plastic that getting shredded from the plastic. And try to be as balanced as you could or level as you could. Sometimes you will get more plastic on the other side compared to the other side. So after I did the um, pilot hole, as you can see, it's not that deep because uh, we're not uh, using a thick detail parts. So after that, I'm just going to sand it with uh, 1000 grit just to smooth out the edges. So let's try to glue the detail up parts. So right now I'm using this, it's actually a CA glue, which is a, it's a CA gel rather, which is a little viscous compared to the ordinary CA glue. So I'm going to use this as you can see. It's like a gel, so you could handle this pretty neatly and add it to your uh, detail part so it doesn't run all over the place so you could there's two way on adding glue to your detail parts you could add it to your detail parts or for this one it has a pivot hole in it you could actually just put it in the hole and then drop your detail parts so i'm gonna use our handy dandy toothpick to apply the glue so i'm just gonna get a small amount of uh, glue so because this is a gel, it's re really easy to handle it. So as you can see, there's uh, an ample amount on the tip. And then just apply it on the pivot hole. And then that small amount will, will do the job because we have a pivot hole. So it will hold the detail parts in place. For this one, I'm going to use a hatch type uh, detail parts. So I'm just going to open it like so. And then just get it. So I'm using a offset tweezer in order to get it. So I'll just get it like this. So it's it's actually glued uh, the bottom. This is a pre-cut etch, metal etch part. And then it's just glued. Uh, it's like a tape underneath so it, it sticks in place then you can just get it like this and then you can just drop it in your pivot hole oops so just do it like this So there you go so because of the pivot hole the glue that we added earlier will disperse all around the detail parts so once you press it you can use a cotton swab to press it even further and then because of the pivot hole this is not going anywhere so as you can see it looks amazing next is we're gonna put a, another detailed part here This one doesn't have a pivot hole, it's just a location. So we're also going to use a 4.0 millimeter detail parts here and simulating a screw because this is a joint. So we're just gonna simulate a screw in there. So again, here we're trying to use the same technique that we've used, even though there's no pivot hole because there's a hole in the middle. I could actually put the glue in the hole in the middle just to hold it in place and then a small amount of glue will, will do because this will disperse when we put the detail parts. So here I got the detail parts in the tweezer and then I'm just trying to locate uh, where's the suitable place or orientation that I want the detail parts. And I'm, as you can see, I'm rotating the parts and not the tweezer because it's really hard to hold it in the tweezer. So once I'm decided, I'm just gonna drop it like this. And then I could just adjust it accordingly. If it's off center, I could just adjust it. But all in all, 
I like the location of it and then I'm just gonna press it gradually it's gonna move a little bit because there's no pivot hole to hold the parts in place you can see you added a screw type detail parts and it looks amazing now so that's how you add uh, detail up parts using the Neuron Dash 011 so if you're wondering where to get the metal edge parts you can visit our sponsor you could go to their website and visit msmnstudio.com to check their wide selection of model kits, building materials, amazing tools just like this, paints, and many more. And if you find this video useful, please don't forget to subscribe for more videos like this. And please hit that like button. I really appreciate it because it helped the channel to grow. And please share it to your friends, especially your friends that are new to the hobby. And lastly, thank you for watching and keep building.